hello friends uh, in this video i am going to explain how to resolve a open case or an in progress case for example i have a case which is not yet resolved that means which is in progress that my new state open state pending state etc any one of the status now forcefully i want to resolve that case forcefully i want to resolve that case so in this video i am going to show you that how to forcefully resolve a case in pega okay so i have a case this is a car loan okay as usually this is a case type it contains n number of stages i'm just click on save and run that means i am going to create a one work object or one case instance or one case for this car loan what is that id so what is that py id or pz ins key of this case c15002 now the status is open okay now i'm just entering some data i'm just entering some data and loan amount etc and loan type is uh, blah 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 but i don't want to submit this case but okay i'm just click on save so that means the case was not yet submitted okay now at any time i can reopen the case if you want at any time i can reopen the case go to the app or car loan instances here is my car loan instances you can click on this now the case status is open state that means someone is working on that case see this one someone is working on this case because which was not yet resolved or which was not yet closed still it is in open state if you want you can go and click on go and work on it but um, what i want to do is there is some requirement i want to forcefully close the case how to do this means i am always depending upon ootb i am always depends on ootb in ootb there is a one activity call it as a px force case close we have a one ootb activity px force case close by using this activity you can close or you can resolve any in progress or any case forcefully that means forcefully you are resolving the case irrespective of the assignment status irrespective of the case status whether the case is having the child cases or not irrespective of that to forcefully close this case resolve this case by using this ootb activity px force case close now what i am going to do i am going to create a one activity so technical i am just creating one activity uh i'm just writing some test activity if you wish whatever the activity you want you can write no problem i'm writing in the car loan or you can write in the work or you can write in the work dash your wish that you can take care of it that um, inheritance okay i'm just creating test activity to close the case or to resolve the case click on create and open now before going to that this is my case which was assigned to current operator which was assigned to the current operator this is the first assignment right uh this assignment was assigned to current operator because to the current user see just we will see the routing configuration see it was assigned to the current user that means obviously c15002 assignment or case is in my work list because i have created the case and the first assignment is also routed to the current user so obviously this case is routed to my work list if you want you can check it in the pg admin just click on this one 
this is pc assign work list see this one just now it got created c15002 case got created and which is assigned to my work list why because this is routed to the current user current user means who logged in into the system and who created the case not only who created the okay who created the case current user here कैसे बैठ के हु क्रिएटेड द केस ओके फाइन नाउ व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट वन एक्टिविटी कॉल पी एक्स फोर्स केस क्लोज so what is the what are the input parameters you must pass to this activity work object id work object id work object id this is c15002 this is the pjdns key nothing but a work object instance key etc you must pass this next one what is the work status or what is the case status you want to update for this case i am just updating resolved completed or resolved closed etc now when you are closing or when you are going to forcefully resolving this case it is asking pega is a very intelligent pega is a very disciplined because it is asking because if this case is having any child cases or any sub cases can i close those cases as well yes please close all sub cases okay fine if you want you can close or if you don't want uncheck this update history okay you want to write in the audit history you can please update my history what is happening in the background what is happening okay update history if you want to write a audit note you can write your own audit message here so if if you want to commit those changes or explicitly want to commit okay please commit these changes okay there is a one more option see the discipline here step by step okay you want to close all child cases okay fine so resolution status for each child case resolution status for child case okay what status you want me to update for a child case as well for example if i want to update a, a different status to the child cases please mention here resolution status for a child case okay now for example i am closing this my c15002 but if this case is having any parent case that means this case acts as a child case to any one of the parent case you want to close that parent case as well okay your wish depends upon your requirement okay only non resolved work objects so you want to close only non resolved work objects okay if you want you can just check yes otherwise leave it clean up assignments very very important because when you are closing this case when you are resolving this case already there is a one assignment which is already assigned to the particular person or particular work list which is assigned already in the particular work list you want to clean up all these assignments that means you want to delete all these assignments because there are pending assignments right there are pending assignments for example you want to forcefully quit you want to forcefully quit from a company etc okay so there are some formalities right there are some formalities similarly you are forcefully closing the case what is the status this case is having some child cases close this you are the this case is having some parent case you want to close yes close what is the audit history etc etc all these are the input parameters you must pass because i don't know what is i don't know what all these parameters just open this px force case close activity this is overtv activity go to the parameters see work object pj dns key status with which the work object needs to be closed should i close all sub cases should i update a history audit note to be added submit the changes status for sub cases should i close the current case 
should close the current case who oh, close only non resolved work objects or should delete the assignments okay if you are not aware of it just open this px force case close and check it if you are interested see the logic also internally see the logic also how they are going to close the case how they are going to close forcefully resolve the case okay see this parameter is commit they are updating the commit param dot commit then they are updating the commit okay uh, because internally they are checking pz check work object id check if the work object id are a key on a primary key primary page is exist for example whatever the work object id or whatever the pz ins key you are passing to that activity which is going to be forcefully resolved first pega is checking first of all whether it is exist or not if it is not exist how can i resolve the case how can i close the case forcefully that's why okay after that use a primary pages as a work page then the check if the page is exist then they are opening the page then they are updating the status as well see here property set etc work objects to so internally pega is following some practice or some step by step logic to resolve this case if you are interested you can go through this logic as well but time being what i am doing is i am just creating this case okay commit audit note i am not writing any audit note or this is my audit note etc this is my audit note etc okay status because my current case doesn't have any child cases but that's why i did not mention any status for child case but leave it as it is if it is there close all sub cases if my case is having any parent case close that parent case as it that's it now run the case because already c15002 which is in open status now just close this one so test activity to close the case actions run yes success done go back to your car loan instances open the case again refresh c15002 see the case status is resolved completed and even there is no go option here there is no go option here because the case is resolved completed if you go to the actions here if you go to the actions here see is there any option is there any option okay there is no go option so the case the case is resolved completed the case is resolved completed uh, but uh, you can reopen the cases as well you can reopen the resolved closed or resolved completed i mean you can reopen the resolved cases that is a different concept but my only agenda for this video only is how to forcefully resolve the open cases or any case forcefully close the case that's it just just check is there any assignment because already there is a open assignment why because if you still the assignment is present in the work list those are call it as a orphan assignment orphan assignment because who is responsible who is responsible for this assignment that is call it as a orphan assignment that's why pega is asking to resolve or to clean up the assignments yes if you want just please check okay there is no c15002 because this is deleted from the work list this is deleted from the work list that if you want you can see committed date and time is 18th date because just now we have seen that is 19th so that is even if you keep that assignment still in the work list that is nothing but orphan assignment who is responsible i don't know because already case is resolved then what is the purpose of see already you quit from a company then what is the purpose of maintaining you the company's id card no use right okay like this only so that's why pega is asking you to delete this 
open assignments or clean up the assignments yes clean up so in this way you can forcefully resolve the case you can forcefully resolve the case and uh, i hope you understand let me create a one more let me create a one more uh, case I am not doing anything, just click on save. That's it. Now I want to close this case. Now I am in the loan initiation screen. Sorry, loan initiation stage. But even I am in the primary stage also, I am closing the case. I am resolving the case. So again, this time what I am going to do, I am just updating this. Resolved, completed, resolved, or resolved, closed as well. Before that, just check the assignment got created in my work list. Yes, 19th date. See, 19th date. What is this? 15003. See this one, 15003. Now run. Success. Now the case, just refresh here. There is no 15003 deleted. Now just refresh the case here. Actions. Okay. Not this one. C. 15003. Now see this one case is resolved closed. Case is resolved closed. In this way you can forcefully resolve or close the case by using an OOTB activity. PX force case close. Thank you.